Hello, and welcome to the Hilliard United Methodist Preschool. My name is Katie Williams, and I am the Assistant Director. Our program nurtures a play-based curriculum as we believe children learn best through hands-on play. I am so excited to show you our preschool and tell you about our wonderful program. So let's get started. The preschool operates from September to May, and we offer morning or afternoon classes. Morning classes are from 9 to 11.20 a.m., and afternoon classes are from 12.30 to 2.50 p.m. We have a two or three day a week option for three-year-olds, a three or four day a week option for four-year-olds, and for our five-year-olds, we offer a five day a week class for children who need a little more time to develop before kindergarten or have a late summer birthday. The three-year-old classrooms have two teachers and 14 children for a one to seven ratio. Our four and five-year-olds have two teachers and 16 children for a one to eight ratio. Safety is our top priority. All doors to the building remain locked all day long. Visitors must use the keypad at the main entrance to buzz the office where they can communicate with administrators through the speaker. Due to COVID-19 policies, visitors and parents are not permitted in the building. Each class is assigned a different door for drop-off and pickup to help with social distancing. You will walk your child to their door, and we ask that you wear a mask. This same door is where you will pick up your child at the end of class. Your child's teachers will greet them at the door with a smile under their mask. Teachers are required to wear masks. Children are not required to wear a mask, but it is your choice if you want them to. If your child wears a mask but wants to take it off, we will place it in a baggie and put it in their backpack to send home. The only supplies your child will need is a backpack with an extra change of clothes, just in case they get messy or have an accident. The children will have their own locker to hang their coat and backpack. Upon arrival, teachers will do a temperature check on each child. Once the class has arrived, they will walk down together to wash their hands in their classroom. The classroom will be all set up for free play with activities that are arranged on the tables, as well as art projects. Art will be at a table, as well as the easel, to give children a different perspective. Each month, different themes will be explored and studied. The table activities, such as a Duplo set, Playmobil scene, or other manipulatives, will go along with the theme. Learning through play, table choices help promote sharing, turn-taking, and problem-solving. Usually a sensory activity such as kinetic sand, Play-Doh, Floam, or Slime is available every day to work on fine motor muscles in their fingers and hands. Due to COVID-19, we had to get creative on how to still be able to safely explore these materials. Teachers make a batch of Play-Doh and they will put it in individual baggies so that each child has their own ball of Play-Doh. That way, they are still working on those fine motor skills, but in an individual way. Our big sensory tables are used differently as well. Teachers will put items in them that can be thrown away after class or sanitized daily. During free play, children can move around the classroom as they please. They can explore the table choices, visit dramatic play space, block and building areas, and science tables, as well as look at books. Circle time is another valuable part of our day. The children will sit together as a class and enjoy a couple of stories, music and movement activities, and finger plays. Stories and songs will usually go along with a theme or the letter of the week. Each day, a different child is the leader for the day. Each class incorporates special roles for their leader for their day to be special. Our teachers are trained in the literacy program called Orton Gillingham. This program is a multi-sensory approach to teaching letters and letter sounds. The letters of the week are not taught in order, but rather in a way that focuses on rhyming and building word blends. When we start the letter of the week, we start with letter A. The next weeks that follow will be letter T and letter B so that they begin building words such as at and bat and talk about how the words rhyme. Our playground is safely gated and provides children an opportunity to use their large motor and socialization skills. One class visits the playground at a time. Depending on the weather, teachers will put out cozy coop cars and tricycles. The climber, swings, benches, cars, and bikes are all sanitized between each class. Because sanitizing breaks are necessary, each class has a schedule during the week when they visit the playground. This is our exercise room. This year, we needed to use this space as a classroom. Our plan is to return it to the exercise room for the next school year. 
Like the playground, one class visits the exercise room at a time. We rotate the activities monthly that give children the ability to work on gross motor skills, such as balancing materials, a basketball hoop, a climber, and large building blocks. The Dupla wall is also a favorite of the children. At the beginning of the year, parents will fill out a transportation form. On the form, parents list anyone that has permission to pick up their child at the end of class. For example, grandparents, aunts and uncles, babysitters, or family friends. For dismissal, teachers will walk the class to the same doors as drop-off. Teachers will be checking IDs before releasing a child to an adult, especially because people are wearing masks and it is hard to know faces. After class is over, teachers email the parents pictures and a daily lesson plan so that parents have an idea of what the day looked like. The lesson plans include books they read, activities that were choices, songs they sang and danced to, as well as the art activity of the day. We also offer meet and greet conferences at the beginning of the year before school starts. This is an opportunity for parents and children to meet the teachers and see the classroom before the first day. This time is also a chance for parents to inform teachers of any allergies or medical concerns that we need to be aware of. Trainings on EpiPens or asthma inhalers are also done at meet and greets. It is just a nice way for children to have a familiar face on that first day of school. Children are assessed twice a year. In the fall, after the teachers have gotten to know the children, they send home a short checklist of how their child is adjusting to preschool. The checklist covers the criteria in the areas of free play, circle time, language development, math development and number sense, social emotional development, and gross motor. In February, teachers hold parent-teacher conferences where parents can sign up to meet with teachers to go over the checklist and assessment. For our four and five-year-olds, conferences are a good opportunity to talk with teachers about planning for kindergarten. Our teachers are great references for this big decision. Thank you for visiting our virtual tour of the Hilliard United Methodist Preschool. If you have further questions, you can call our office at 614-876-7180, or you can email me at katie at hilliardumcpreschool.org. Have a great day.